Hey guys, uh, this is the video to cover the Banish 30 Gold Suppressor. What is the architecture? How does this thing work and how it is serviceable? Um, so I just want to cover um, some of the parts um, of the suppressor. So as you can see the layout, you have your um, this is just a dummy uh, 300 Remington Ultra Mag round. Uh, just uh, made it just for sizing purposes. It's not a real round. And then you have your muzzle brake. Now the muzzle brake comes with the Banish package. This is what's going to stay attached to your rifle barrel. Then the suppressor itself is going to go on top of that muzzle brake. So this thing, if you can imagine with, with the rifle barrel, it's going to be um, locked. You can put Loctite or thread lockers to basically lock this um, muzzle brake onto the barrel of the rifle. And then the suppressor, you'll be able to easily take on and off and, you know, maybe move it to another rifle, which has a similar muzzle brake from Silencer Central. Um, and uh, you'll be able to use one suppressor um, with many, many rifles. And it's rate, this one, Banish 30 Gold, is rated for 300 Remington Ultra Mag and below. So you can go all the way down to a 0.17 HMR, if you can imagine that. Now, inside um, of the suppressor are these baffles. So these are uh, made out of titanium and they are indexed. And that mean, what that means is that they have this notch and they have to, you basically stack them up so that the notch fits. And then this slides into your suppressor and here's the end cap. And here's the end cap tool that you use to um, lock everything in. Um, all just hand tightened. No, not, you know, you don't need any special tools to put it all together. And then the beauty of this suppressor is that you can actually take it apart, let's say after 50 or 100 rounds of, depending on what kind of caliber you're shooting and how much fouling you're getting, and you can either use um, some kind of solvent or ultrasonic to clean the baffle. So they're the ones that are gonna get real dirty. So these you can put uh, in the uh, ultrasonic. You do not put the suppressor itself, the body, the uh, outside cover itself in the ultrasonic. They do not recommend it. So this one you'll have to use like a solvent and a nylon brush to clean it out. Mine is still, you know, it's, it's brand new. I haven't shot through it. So, um, so it should be squeaky clean. Uh, once you're done with the, the solvent and the brush, this you can do an ultrasound. I'll, I'll, I'll do a video on that as well. And uh, yeah, and then you can pretty much use this thing for your lifetime because it's serviceable. Um, again, I'm an engineer by trade and I absolutely do not buy into the fact that, oh, the cans don't need to be cleaned. Uh, there's carbon buildup. It's going to if anything, it's going to affect your accuracy. So um, if you have a serviceable suppressor, you're cleaning it every 50, 50 to 100 rounds, that thing would last you a lifetime. So then uh, I want to point out two more things. I checked the diameter um, of the exit hole. Uh, so let's say for a 308, for like a 300 Remington Ultra Mag where the projectile is a 0 0.308 inches diameter, this thing at a point is at a 0 0.3605 inch. So there's plenty of room for the bullet to exit and the gases to exit without any issue. You don't have to, um, I guess, increase the diameter uh, at all. There's, there's plenty of room. Uh, and I checked all the baffles as well. They're all right on the money at 0 0.3605 inches. And the end cap, it comes in two pieces. They do tell you to JB weld it. So as you can see, this has become, after I did that, this has become uh, one piece now. Real easy to uh, assemble and disassemble your suppressor. So thanks a lot, and uh, there will be more videos coming. I absolutely love this suppressor and what it stands for, and that's serviceability. That means you can take it apart, clean it, and then put it together.